Well, for one local mom, the thought of an empty nest and not much to do was a recipe for unhappiness. So she decided to take a passion and turn it into a business. Her recipe for success is why we say mom's a genius. You make every one of these by hand. Yes, we do. <laughs> this batch, chocolate-covered pretzels with... The cinnamon cream cheese chocolate. Okay. I'm going to drizzle it on top. If that sounds good, feast your eyes on this. That is a gorgeous tray. Is that your product line? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, we've, um, we've come up with about eight different flavors right now that really work. Including this one, dark chocolate infused with raspberry oil. And then it's uh, covered with a luster dust and then drizzled with a dark chocolate. And Bobek's been making pretzels like these for 12 years for school events, holidays, Day gifts, but with her youngest son heading off to college next year. I thought that I once well left for school, I would probably be a really terrible empty nester and I would have too much time on my hands, so I decided to take my pretzel business um, and make it official. The Twisted Pretzel started selling pretzels at farmers markets, then word of mouth led to some small stores calling asking for her goodies, and it took off from there. Yes. You sold 9,000 pretzels last Christmas season. Yes, we did. <laughs> By hand. By hand, <laughs> yes, and we uh, will be busy today because Julie and I have 24 dozen to make today. She rents kitchen space at Holy Cannolis in Berkeley to fill her order. Her focus has been on small specialty shops. She still uses simple double broilers to melt the chocolate, but she knows as business grows and she reaches out to bigger retailers, she'll need a more efficient process. It's just manifested itself and just grown into this dream that I never really thought would become a reality. Right now, the pretzels are packed in cellophane bags. She's working with Michigan Box Company on new packaging options. Her company is growing, as is her son. And now, when he leaves... I think it's going to, it's going to fill the gap for me, a, a big gap. I'm just looking forward to growing the business and seeing where I can take it. Right now, you can find Ann's pretzels at Holy Cannolis in Berkeley and Rochester, at Viviano Flower Shops, and at Urban Attic in St. Clair Shores. You can also place an order by calling or emailing. They don't yet take orders on their website. That's the growth for the coming year <laughs> that they're going to do. See, I brought you some. I'm going to restore you a minute, too, but, well, these are good. You know, so you can't resist them. This is called Funky Chunky Bark that they have, too. She puts mm -hmm. marshmallows in here, dark chocolate, peanut butter, and don't mind the, the Ziploc bag. That's because I ate some of it at home. And so <laughs> yeah, I don't mind <laughs> nice Cellophane bag isn't anymore, but uh, anyway, so she uses the pretzel pieces that are broken so she doesn't have to waste them, which I love. Really good. Really good stuff. Yeah, yeah best selection. The chocolate with the well. pretzels. Isn't mm. it wonderful? Fantastic. Be sure, by the way, to watch Action News this morning on TV20 Detroit tomorrow morning from 7 to 9. And we'll be dropping by with some of her wonderful twisted pretzel products.